Traffic came to a crawl during the morning commute on I-26 in South Asheville. A man was struck and killed by a big rig. Troopers say it was likely intentional. 56-year-old Scott Hoffman of Asheville was killed near the westbound 37-mile marker not far from the Blue Ridge Parkway. News 13's Frank Crocker is live along the interstate. And Frank, why do troopers say Hoffman did this on purpose? Well, 911 calls tell the tale, the most chilling, from the truck driver who could not avoid tragedy. Duncan County 911, do you need police, fire, or medical? I just jumped out in front of me in the truck. That was just after 6.15 this morning. Not a typical call for any emergency dispatcher. I'm sorry, what? He jumped out in front of me. Somebody jumped out in front of you? Troopers say Scott Hoffman had actually tried a few times. People were calling and reporting that this gentleman was running out into traffic. But it was the big rig driver the troopers say couldn't get out of the way. He ran and hit the, he hit the trailer. It was a, he was walking and he just ran. I don't know. It was crazy or something. Okay, so you're telling me that there was somebody walking on the interstate and they ran into your trailer. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy as it sounds. Hoffman left his dog behind. It was taken to the shelter and later picked up by a family member. Investigators say his car was running, the hood up, perhaps as a place to hide during attempts to dart out in front of unsuspecting drivers. We've got eight calls that we're trying to track down, and we just like to, to go where the evidence leads us. But at this particular point in time, uh, it does look as though he intentionally went out into the, to the flow of traffic. And it was the traffic that had to stop flowing because of what happened that caused trouble for many drivers out on I-26. What we were getting reports of is people t trying to turn around on the interstate and go back down the off ramp or the on ramp, uh, use it as an off ramp, and that's the worst thing you can do. You take a bad traffic situation and uh, you make it worse. And there was what troopers call a secondary accident caused by those people trying to get off of I-26 the wrong way. No injuries in that accident. They say their investigation into the death of Scott Hoffman will wrap up in about two days. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13.